Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. I am Brandy and today I am bringing you guys on an adventure with me. We are gonna be heading over to my sister's house and as most of you know, my family of five and two dogs just sold our home here in Florida. So we are currently living in our travel trailer, but we are gonna go on an adventure and my sister is also selling her home right now and she asked me to help her deep clean and stage her bedroom and closet this closet you guys it was one of my most favorite transformations to date the biggest change cost us four dollars so i'm going to be sharing my favorite tips and tricks to staging your home or even just making your home feel bright airy open and clean on a budget so let's go ahead and jump right into today's video i'm going to start with vacuuming the room and then we are going to start tearing her closet apart you had me at a low because where you go is where i go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to let the fun begin closet makeovers really are one of my favorite areas to make over more than likely your closet is where you start your day you might end your day here as you're getting ready for bed i know personally before i cleaned my closet out to stage my closet was horrible you could barely walk into it i dreaded having to go in it most of the time our clothes just hung in the laundry room because it was such a pain taking stuff to our closet and i wish if i could do it over again my closet would have been one of my first areas that I transformed years and years ago. It really is a space that can make or break your day. If your closet is not living up to your expectations, don't be afraid to go in there and tear it apart and make it an area that you truly love being in. We can always All of the clothes are out of the closet. I went ahead and stacked them up on the bed and my little helper, what's your name? Boys. Bryson, my nephew is gonna help me get all of the shoes out and all of the shoes they want to keep we are going to put in a bin and then winter clothes we grabbed a vacuum seal bag so we'll put that stuff in there we're gonna keep on working right Bry? yeah staring into your blue eyes we don't need nobody else i got you and you got me too Even if you don't need to stage your closet, the best thing to do when you are cleaning out an area is to take everything out. That forces you to look at everything and play with everything. That's the best part of doing my sister's closet. I get to play with all this stuff. But you want to look at every single item. You want to ask yourself, do I really need this? Am I using it? Have I looked at it in the last five years? I read the Marie Kondo book and I know that might be a little bit drastic for some people. I also follow Dawn from The Minimal Mom and I always have in the back of my head the more inventory or that's what she calls the stuff in her house. The more inventory you have, the more you have to maintain. And I am not the best maintainer. My husband's not the best maintainer. So I know I do better with less stuff. 
let's take a peek back at our before shot and now I'm going to share our progress shot with everything emptied out. I am so excited for you guys to see this transformation unfold. My sister, however, is not as excited about having to go through all of this stuff though, but it's okay. It's going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and keep working. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. that I'm in between moves I couldn't find my carpet solution so Bethany did a quick target run while we emptied the closet she picked up this new curtain panel she also picked up this razor blade that I use on her windows and I couldn't find my mop head I just could not find anything before I left and normally I would have had like all of this stuff she also grabbed a box of daylight light bulbs and this made one of the biggest changes for the entire closet so I'm excited to show you that in a few seconds she also grabbed a dawn power wash in the apple scent it is definitely my favorite scent now we are gonna go work a little magic wait for it wait for it I cannot believe the difference it went from dingy and drab and dungeon like to bright and airy and open with just a light bulb so don't think that all changes have to cost a lot of money and when she got back we noticed there were a few areas that had been patched and they didn't remember the patch jobs because stuff was covering them up so she realized she had some leftover paint so i offered to paint the closet while she starts sorting everything out on the bed and i think that was a pretty good trade <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this vacuumed up so i can start getting some paint on the walls <laughs> Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Counting your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just get a place together? Morning's in our own If you are anything like me And painting does not come natural this construction paper will be your best friend. I have always used an old sheet and Michael had some of this left over from one of our houses and I used it on one of my projects and I could not believe what I had been missing out on. When you use a sheet, paint still can like seep through the other side so I would still have to sit there with a razor but when you use this construction paper, nothing goes through. I have seriously spilled a gallon of paint on this stuff and nothing went through the other side. It was amazing. So it's fairly inexpensive also. I want to say like a huge roll is $15 at Lowe's. If you are not the best painter, do yourself a favor and get a roll of this construction paper. While I'm in the closet painting, Bethany is going to go ahead and start putting all of their winter clothes. Well, they're not really winter clothes. They're just long sleeve shirts and jackets, well, sweatshirts, into this vacuum seal bag. 
In Florida, I feel like we don't really switch our clothes out for seasons. You'll have to let me know if you live in Florida and you do. We always just keep our boots and everything right in the closet. All of our long sleeve shirts just still hang with all the other shirts. You'll have to let me know if you switch out your clothes for seasons, but she's gonna take this bin and then put all of her off season shirts, just like her Easter shirts, Halloween shirts, Christmas shirts, all that type of thing in this bin. And for staging purposes, this bin is going to be stored out in the garage. I'm going to label it very clearly. That way, if they decide they need something, they will be able to quickly grab it. And then I'm gonna put this out there too. This has to be wrapped yeah, to you okay? That was not supposed to happen. I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Bethany is starting day two off with the most challenging category, sentimental. And look at this. My sister Bethany is five years older than me, so when she had my nephew Landon, he was literally everybody's baby. My little sister and I would fight over him. We would all want him. Oh my goodness, those were the days. But here I am back in the closet, and these shelves, I don't know how they get so dirty and then not only do they get super dirty but they're sticky so it's like a sticky dirt and last night before we left Michael had cleaned the rack on the right so I was like no don't do both I want to show them how gross it is and how easy it is to clean it I have cleaned these shelves by hosing them off outside I've cleaned these shelves in my shower so there are so many ways to tackle them today we just used a magic eraser and went back over it with a dry paper towel and it worked perfectly they look so much better I mean, for Michael to have noticed, they had to have been pretty dirty. Moving on, we are now coming back out to her room, and we need to help get these shelves cleared off so she can go through more stuff, and Bryson has been waiting ever so patiently to help me put all of his dad's jeans into this bin, so we are going to go ahead and do that right now. Get on my list of the things I love. Well, 
I'm going to start tackling shoes and since this is for staging, I'm going to go ahead and put each of their shoes in separate bins and then they will clearly be labeled and tucked away in the garage. Now if this was not for staging, I would not be storing their shoes in the garage. For them, I would probably do a large wicker basket tucked in the corner of their closet. That way they could just throw their shoes in the bin. And now we are in their dining room that the kids have totally destroyed but I'm using these shipping labels to make the labels for the bins and they work perfectly. I used to sell on Etsy so I have a ton of shipping labels left over. So I'm going to go ahead and do the front and the back so that whichever way they're facing in the garage you will be able to see what is inside each bin. We had started talking about maybe just painting her entire room, but since we were limited on time and today was the only day that we had left to work in here, I went ahead and just took that dry mop head and wiped the walls down. The walls were pretty dusty, so if you haven't dusted and wiped your walls down, I would definitely recommend doing it. You might be surprised. It might save you from having to paint the entire bedroom or room. I also went back in with a wet mop head after I dry dusted, and that just helped get all of the grime off the walls. And yes, I totally did not remember that I was filming. Sometimes you just kind of get into the groove and you totally forget that you have a camera on you. But I'm going to go ahead and clear out this little corner. That way I can vacuum and dust this wall. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily. But I'm worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Just watch me break in your sweat You're falling into me, touch me, I swear You would do anything that I want So keep us awake till the dawn Ooh, Baby, real free I wanna make you sweat on me I wanna make you sweat on me Another tip for a staging and deep cleaning is to clean your windows. I will 100% admit before I staged my house, I don't think I had ever purposefully cleaned my windows inside and out. I could not believe the amount of extra light that comes through clean windows. So definitely do not forget to clean your windows. And this tip I'm probably the most passionate about. I have a thing for clean interior doors and baseboards, but more so doors. They are one of the biggest areas that are overlooked and they make such a huge impact. Doors get touched multiple times a day. So don't forget to clean your doors. It will make a huge difference in the cleanliness of your your entire home and if you use a semi-gloss paint the doors will come so clean you probably think oh my gosh I need to paint that door but I cannot tell you how many times I've cleaned a door prepped it to paint and then realized you know what it doesn't really need to be painted it just needed a really good wipe down so don't underestimate the power of a little elbow grease I don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and 
we are moving right through our staging tips and this is another one but first i want to show you this picture that is my nana in the center and my brother and my two sisters and i that has got to be one of my favorite pictures ever. When you stage your home, you wanna make sure you put away any pictures, anything personal, names, things like that. You wanna make sure you go ahead and pack those up. Buyers get distracted very easily. So you wanna make sure you have packed away all of your photos and personal items. Okay, I know I've been talking way too much in this video, but I have to share this cleaning combo. I follow a girl named Sarah. I believe her last name is Sores here on YouTube. I will leave her linked in the description box below. But she recently cleaned her bathroom mirrors with Dawn Power Wash, and she said that it helped prevent the mirrors from fogging up. And one day I was looking out my sliding doors before we sold our house and they were so muddy and I wanted to clean them first. Like I wanted to give them a deep clean before I used a window cleaner. So I grabbed my Dawn Power Wash and then I followed it up with just any type of cleaner that I had on hand. I'm not sure if it was the Method or Jaws. I don't think it was the Spray Away. So this literally works with anything. And I promise I have never seen my sliding doors so clean. So now anytime I have to clean a mirror or doors, I'm always grabbing both my Dawn Power Wash and my window cleaner. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my heart like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless I'm out of patience, I'm out of feels But I guess I'm waiting around for something real I'm going crazy, like what's the deal? Cause I want you to show me what you feel If I had to choose between either the closet's transformation or the carpet's transformation, I honestly would not know which one to pick. When we started this makeover, we literally thought her carpet was just a lost cause. And I was like, you know what? Let me just bring over my carpet machine. It was the $99 Target Black Friday special last November. And I was like, you know what? What do we have to lose? Let's just try it. Well, we were all blown away. I cannot wait for you to see the water that was coming out of this carpet. Oh my goodness. So if you have ever wondered if these little things were worth it, the answer is definitely yes. Looking good tonight I 
The light on their fan broke a few months ago and they had gotten the replacement fan. They just hadn't gotten it up yet. So Michael stopped on the way home. We had to work around each other while I was carpet cleaning and he had the huge ladder in the room. We made it work though and he got the light up and you know me and my lighting. You can never have enough lights. Now that the carpet is looking so much better, we are going to go ahead and start on the finishing touches. My sister picked up this curtain panel, so I'm going to go ahead and swap it out. She had a brown one hanging before, and I thought this one would just make it feel a little bit more bright and airy in her room. So we are going to go ahead and swap that out real quick, and then we are going to start working on the closet. You're all alone. Hold up, hold up. Can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you think. Are you having fun yet? A blast. Yay! <laughs> she loves when I come over. there changing the hangers 
is because my sister told me they all have to be on the same color hanger. <laughs> You're gonna tell me this is too much? No. But I am gonna tell you we get to color coordinate! No. Oh. <laughs> That's it, I'm leaving my clothes out on the laundry hook. <laughs> I truly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun making it and editing it and bringing you guys this massive transformation. My last tip is turn on all of your lights before showing your house. You want your house to be so bright and welcoming when the buyers walk in. Go around and turn on every single light. If you have a fireplace, go ahead and turn your fireplace on. You want to create a welcoming environment that makes them not want to leave. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope these tips have helped you and I hope you enjoyed seeing this crazy transformation. Just remember, you can do this. You can stay on a budget and you can make your space beautiful. I will see you all in my next one. Bye!